here's Williams. In on Robbins, and nifty reverse. Matt Painter told us today he would love to get Robbins on the bench early in this one. Guy who's had at least four fouls in half of their games this year. Johnson fighting down low and gets the lay in. And now Hunter. Williams the offensive board and the easy two. Well, you're going to have a couple of those shots like that from Marcus Carr because of his confidence he thinks he can take. Too many of them, though, gets Minnesota in a hole. Gillis can't get the roll. Zach Eady, the freshman, throws down the jam. Williams trying to back down on Robbins. Goes to the right hand and gets it to go. The difficulty for Purdue is to recognize whoever is taking his place out there, they don't have to be Stavadovich. They have to play themselves. And that's why we see Purdue looking a little bit different right now. Zach Eady having all kinds of trouble in there, but able to maintain possession. Now stolen away from behind. Good defense from Johnson. And Johnson through the lane. For that, just over three minutes of game time. And from now, we'll take you through the entire day of Big Ten, including an awfully impressive performance by Penn State as Trey Williams hit. How about scoring 50 points in a half? 33-26, uh, but he'll certainly take it as Thompson did a good job knocking down the free throws. And now Robbins gets free. Nice. If he scores, it's going to be really difficult for Purdue. But Purdue's got to shoot the ball better. Offensive rebound, Williams back up and in. That helps quite a bit, doesn't it? Well, if you're not shooting the ball well, you got to do that and continue to get to the free throw line. Another double-double for Williams. His fourth in the last five games. Johnson down low to Robbins who gets it to go. What do you attribute that to, Ed? Well, you look at the Minnesota defense. They're switching, forcing a lot of dribbling, and hence you can't really... There's Newman for three. Got it. And now a steal for the Boilers. On the break, it's Newman. And Purdue back on top for the first time since very early in this game. Perhaps a function of some of what you're talking about there. And maybe to the detriment of Minnesota. Oh, oh. What a pass by Williams. Newman shooting it well from the field. Williams trying to back down Curry, up over him and hits. That is number three on him. Got a mismatch inside, but well, now he's back. It's the sixth turnover of this half for the Gophers. You see just three in the first half. And he threw the lane, and this time he finishes. And right now, in a need situation, he should have more touches. Hey! Ivy is fouled by Robbins, and he hits. Jaden Ivy coming alive. This level and speaks volumes about where this program's headed. Yeah, they, they've got a future, no question. The presence pretty good, too, as Newman hits 18 points now. Inside Robbins, down low, Johnson throws down the jam. Williams, count the basket. How good this Purdue program will be going forward. They're feeling really good about right now, though. 13-point lead. Does Minnesota have a response? Robbins, good quick move, it'll go to the line. Again, the patience from the Boilers. Newman going to have to put it up. And it banks in. So we've had the missed dunk into a three. And the banked three. Mashburn, a more conventional three for Minnesota. Now for the Boilers. A 21 to 7 edge and second chance points. Robbins can't get it to go. Back up with it. And he will again go to the free throw line. Well, this was a tale of two halves, to say the least. Minnesota controlled the first half, and Purdue has utterly dominated the second half. 29 points for Brandon Newman. I mean, he has been ridiculous. I would say he is the front runner to win another Big Ten freshman of the week. Minnesota 62.